Earth's man-made climate change is already damaging the United States, and it's only, only going to get worse in the coming decades. Many Americans still don't think that climate change is a thing and don't get how it would happen if it were a thing. Uh, the atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide continued uh, to move up about the future of the Earth's climate. The team says that a prolonged heat wave in the Siberian Arctic this year is unequivocal evidence of climate change and that the record high temperatures in Siberia would be impossible without man-made global warming. The ocean is filled with amazing and unique wildlife. 50 to 80% of all life lives in the ocean. So why is it that the oceans are heavily polluted? Humans treat the ocean as their own personal waste bin. 100 million marine animals die each year from plastic waste, and 100,000 marine animals die from getting caught in that waste. Additionally, 50% of our coral reefs have already been destroyed around the world. If we work together, we can protect and preserve our beautiful oceans and the incredible life that lives in it. But I learned then, this is uh, 1989, I learned then really about, about climate change. Um, well, my first dive was a beach dive, and in Monterey, there's a lot of kelp in uh, the ocean, and so it was a really cold dive, and you were diving in the kelp, which was both exhilarating but also kind of scary because you felt like you were kind of tied up in a bunch of vegetation. But one of the cool things about kelp diving is the way the light refracts through the kelp. And so you see these streams of like laser light, um, which is super cool. Really dramatic changes in the last 10 years. You know, when we lose our, our kelp off the coast, that's, uh, you know, a marine uh, alga that's actually sequestering carbon from the ocean uh, and, and from the atmosphere, you know, um, by association in its tissue. Um, so we're losing a carbon sink there. And then we're also losing a, um, you know, really dynamic ecosystem where you have these kelp forests um, that have been off the coast of California for, you know, tens of thousands of years harboring all kinds of marine life um, and serving as a nursery for, you know, many, you know, dozens and dozens of fish species. Santa Monica, the area and the beach uh, right around Santa Monica Pier, that it consistently uh, receives the worst score in LA County for um, for pollution levels. Heal the Bay and um, LA uh, Waterkeeper and Riverkeeper are monitoring sites all over Los Angeles, um, both in L the LA River, San Gabriel River, and then out in Santa Monica Bay, the, the large part of the bay. And, uh, you know, it's right around the pier is, is you know, again, consistently the sort of the worst readings for bacterial pollution, plastic pollution, you know, nutrient loading. Um. In terms of the changes that I've seen in all the years that I've been diving, um, there's uh, absolutely a negative cause and effect with respect to global warming <laughs> and temperatures rising in the oceans. Um, obviously, that's not good for uh, vegetation, uh, sea life, marine life, coral life. With respect to kelp, <clears throat> um, there's actually been um, a proliferation of kelp, um, which on the one hand you could argue it's expanding plant life, on the other hand it's also predatory and it's creating a more negative environment for a lot of uh, marine life. Um, one of the most startling changes that I've seen in all the years that I've been diving <clears throat> is in Fiji, where I've dove several times, <clears throat> where the beautiful, vibrant, colorful coral has changed significantly through coral bleaching. So basically coral bleaching is when <clears throat> coral is dying because of an increase in the temperature of the water. And the beautiful colors disappear as the coral dies and basically you see these seabeds of just white dead coral. Not only is that not good for the reefs and for the coral themselves, but there are a lot of fish who rely on the coral both for food as well as for shelter from predators, um, let alone the you know, awful destruction um, that it's just causing to the oceans generally. And we're seeing a lot of coral bleaching, particularly in the South Pacific. 
Analysis shows that if we go about our usual activity, we will have made irreversible damage on our ocean's ecosystems. It is our generation's responsibility to help solve one of the most dire issues, and that is climate change. I think diving will be materially changed if we don't do something about global warming. We're certainly getting to the point of no return where it'll be very, very difficult to repair uh, the reefs um, and to repair the damage that's been done because of the human encroachment um, and lack of sensitivity to the cause and effect of global warming. I'm hoping that with more education and, um, and, a, and a better understanding of the impacts of global warming that um, we'll act and act fast so that we can retain our vital marine life and our oceans, which we depend upon not only for recreation, but also for sustenance. Yeah, so caring for Earth is, you know, in my mind, it's, it's critical. And uh, I do think that even though it feels um, desperate at times, um, we don't have the right to give up. Uh, no one has the right to give up, no matter, you know, how dire it feels or, um, you know, if it feels like everything is lost. A lot of people go from uh, sort of a denial stage where they're like, oh, the problem isn't that bad. Um, or, you know, maybe science isn't quite right um, to, you know, learning about it and then immediately just giving up and just being like, oh, it's too late. We're, we're done. No one has the right to give up. But if you if you do care, um, you need to be willing to, to fight and do what you can. I hope that, um, you know, that what we're talking about does continue to build momentum and that, uh, you know, no one that's you know within earshot of this conversation is is um you know able to give up hope or thinks that that's something that you can just that you can just do that you can just quit um you know basically we're all going to be asked to you know fight as hard as we can for what we care about so get on it <laughs> before humans make irreversible damage to the earth's oceans there are some simple acts to reduce waste. This includes reducing use of single-use plastics, participating in beach cleanups, supporting organizations that help reduce plastic pollution, and most importantly, spreading the word. Although these acts seem small enough, they can make a huge impact and end up saving the lives of millions of marine animals. Together, we can make change.